What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome to maybe I say more than likely this is probably going to be a long video because most times I say it's short but it's not actually short it usually goes on for about 15 minutes. Um, so more than likely this is going to be roughly about the same length so nothing is going to pop up on screen so if you guys want to tab out and just hear what I want to say instead of watching what I want to say, you can go ahead, tab out, um, because there's a few things I want to talk about. And we're going to get right into it because I got I, <laughs> I have some notes listed on my computer. Um, so yeah, so first, like I said, if you guys want to tab away, because this might go on for like fifth, I'm trying to make it, a, I'll try and make it as short as possible. Um, if it's about it may be about, excuse me, 10 or 15 minutes long. So like I said, if you guys want to tab out, go right ahead. Because nothing else is going to pop up on screen. It's just going to be me talking to the can talking to you guys. And we'll see. So first, I want to apologize for the absolute lack of videos for the past, uh, what, three weeks? I only, what, um, I only posted up, what, one video in the past three weeks? There's a reason for that. See, I live in Canada, and being in Canada, we have our Thanksgiving, uh, our Thanksgiving holiday was back in October, and I was, and I had videos prepared, uh, for that weekend. I took Friday, I took that Friday morning off because the holiday was the following Monday. It's the first, I believe it's the second Monday in October. It just so happened to be on the 9th. And I took the Friday morning off so that I could go out and visit family. Because uh, family from here, or my immediate family, like my parents and my brother, for example, they live a three, three, three and a half hour drive from where I currently live. And... Well, let me just move in here a little bit because, man, it's like, heaven going on out there is, like, bright. So, anyway, um, I was on my way to visit family, and I blew out a tire on my car. So, that was fun. So, I ended up not going back, and I could have streamed or prepared more videos or what have you but I just wasn't in the mindset for doing it I was because any because basically I had the mindset that day that anything that could have went wrong did in fact go wrong and now thankfully um so thankfully I did get the car back but it was after the long weekend and thankfully, the tires were still under warranty, so I only had to pay, what, like $6.80 for the, uh, because there's, a, it's the, what's it, the environmental fee, which is basically the, because where I had to pay for the rubber, or it was like a tax on the rubber or something. So that wasn't too bad. But the problem was that I was stuck here with no vehicle for a whole long weekend. <laughs> I felt like... I felt like I couldn't do anything. Like, sure, it was nice that weekend. I could have walked. Like, I could have walked to where I wanted to go. I keep hitting my desk. Like, I could have walked, say, to the mall or or even just walk anywhere. But, I don't know. I had the mindset that anything that could have went wrong did go wrong. And I was not a happy camper for that weekend. So, I didn't do anything for that. And the following weekend, I guess that, that mindset still carried over. No, no, that mindset did not carry over because I wanted to record. But what happened was that my girlfriend, who's currently in university because I've been, I've been finished college now for the past three years. Well, my girlfriend, she's in her sixth year of university and she had midterms. And the, and the, uh, what she's doing is pretty, well, I mean, she takes her studies very seriously anyway, but it's a little bit demanding in terms of, well, I mean, she's doing, like, a fast track version of the course that she's doing. Don't want to get into specifics, 
but she's doing a fast track version of of a core of a of a uh, program and because of that is a little bit demanding for them so i told her i was like i'm not and like she took time off work to study or what like whatever and because of the way that our apartment is laid out all the walls are very thin because we live in an apartment complex um i wanted to give her all the time all the space that she needed so i made sure i wasn't recording any videos this went on for two weeks <laughs> So I had no videos done for two weeks at that point, and just this past weekend, because I'm recording this on November 5th, so this is probably going up tomorrow being Monday, so it's not going to be too much of a time disparity between recording and uploading. And last weekend, I recorded the full week of three videos, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos like I usually do. Which we will get into, by the way, um, because like I said, I got a whole list of this, and um, everything was fine, except, but for some reason, I kept forgetting to up, uh, to edit and upload my videos, except for the one that went out last Monday. Why I don't know. Somehow I forgot. So I think because of what hap because of what happened with the car. And my girlfriend doing two weeks of midterm studying, I think I somehow lost, not so much motivation, but lost track of, like, I lost the routine that I was in, in terms of recording videos. Record three videos on either Saturday morning or Sunday morning, and then update or edit and upload those three videos all on Sunday all on either Saturday or Sunday, depending on when I get them done. Most times are Sundays, actually. And then they're up Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then I got nothing then for the rest of the week. However, something... I... I, I don't think it was motiva I don't think it was motivation. I think it was more so because of the past three weeks where I wasn't doing anything, um, I lost the routine that I was in. Hope I'm hoping to get out... I'm hoping to get back into that routine because I enjoy doing videos. I enjoy talking to the camera or whatever. So, like I said, I apologize for the scattered videos or lack of videos and the the only one that went up uh, last week. Speaking of videos for Snakewood, um, I feel like we're getting close to the end of Snakewood. And... I'm loving, I'm loving Snakewood, but, and like, I know it's a blind playthrough, but a lot of the let, but a lot of the let, Pokemon Let's Plays that you see of ROM hacks, they're typically blind, but I feel like, like, I've been, look, I've been watching, now, I haven't been spoiling the, um, the game for myself, I've been watching up to where I'm to, from other, uh, from other Let's Player, from other, uh, Let's players, and it seems like that I am going extremely slow in Snakewood. I don't know why. I feel like I'm going at a relatively good pace, but I know that like I'm not. I'm not going to get into specifics of what people I've been watching, but one person in particular I was watching um, was speeding up everything. Which, when I was doing my Leaf Green randomizer Nuzlocke. A year ago, actually. Holy crap, that was a year ago. <laughs> and, um... And, um... Someone said that... I had a commenter once saying that... They felt like that... Me speeding up the game... Took them away... It took also took them away from the experience. Which, I get. I, I can understand that. There's some Let's Plays that I'm like, Okay, why did you speed this section up or whatever? It's completely understandable. So, I tr and so because of that, I try not to speed any games up, especially with these ROM hacks, because a lot of them are, um, a lot of them I am able to speed up, especially ones for Game Boy Advance, like Snakewood, for example, because where that's a ROM, uh, because where that's a hack of uh, Pokemon Ruby. Um, but I try not to speed them up. And because of, and because of that, I can understand why the game is taking so long. I mean, we're up what almost sixty 
almost 60 episodes and we're like the last 25 percent of the game or maybe or might even be more than that we might be in the last eight like we might be in the last 20 percent of the game for all i know or even 15 so snakewood is going good i'm still enjoying it <laughs> still kind of breaking the fourth wall sometimes so which is hilarious um but i have been working on my next project and um actually i've been working on two pro I've, I've actually been working on two projects one for youtube and one for twitch which we will get into shortly uh next draft league so i know that i've been doing draft league battles every week well attempting to do it every week um since we started season two and while the battles I'm doing have been very lackluster in terms of predictions or whatever. I think I know what my problem is, and that's because I drafted a balanced team. Because uh, for those of you who don't know, when it comes to Pokemon Showdown slash Smogin based tiers, there's balanced, there's bulky offensive, uh, hyper offensive, whatever. I've drafted what's called a balanced team, which is basically a mix of bulky attackers, clerics, uh, with good type coverage. And apparently, from what from what I've been gathering, it's not my playstyle. That's why I've been losing. Now, in saying that, I've been slowly trying to experiment with um, with the draft that I have. Um, but I'm hoping for season three that will be fixed in terms of the uh, now in terms of video related because I believe now um, there's four I believe there's four that I need to d uh, upload so what I'm gonna do oh, just excuse me there for a second I feel a sneeze all right I think I'm good um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, upload a single video at the end of the season because at the point because like spoiler alert I still haven't won a game I am completely winless I've lost every single game I've, and I abs and I have the worst differential in the league right now like I believe I'm 39 minus 39 or I might even be in the minus 40s so spoiler alert my season is basically done and over with so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait until the final week, and I'm going to do one. I'm gonna do one solid video of all of the draft of all the draft league battles that I missed, and it's not gonna be it's not gonna be live commentated because I haven't been uploading them mostly because of the same reasons that I mentioned before with the uh, with the scattered videos was that uh, where my girlfriend was studying for midterms so I can't so I don't have any live footage of those and since then I haven't been recording any of them um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one massive huge video with all of the re with all of the replays, very similar to what happened last season, where I uploaded literally just where I did, like where I talked about my team, and then did the replay. Although this time I don't have my sets anymore, and I know for a fact that I can't do post commentary. I tried it before. It I hated the video, and because of that I couldn't. I didn't post it. So what I'm going to do, I'm basically just going to sit down, uh, tell you that this is the video, and then show you the replays. And if you guys have any suggestions uh, for uh, for any sets or anything that you want me to test out for uh, for next season, uh, well, not for next season, but if you guys have any tips for how I could have made those sets, be uh, the sets in those videos better, please be sure to leave a comment. You guys don't even know. I read every single comment that I get if I get them. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. That's going to be coming up very soon. That I'm, um, I think that 
the last i'm not sure we're into starting tomorrow we're going to be in the week nine of 12 so it's going to be in another three weeks that we'll be getting that up and running so be on the lookout for that next this, uh i got i got a list as state of uh the state of youtube so um my videos haven't been so i'm just gonna cut to the chase my videos have not been garnered uh huge amounts of views um like for snakewood for example i probably only had a most of 11 people watch a single video of snakewood and like even the video that i posted last week still uh as of last night when i was looking at it still only had one view on it so what i'm gonna do is i'm going <laughs> i'm still gonna be posting to youtube that's not that's not gonna change but I think I want to focus more attention on streaming, which kind of um, is funny because my last two my last two points kind of go inside with each other because I got to list it as Twitch and um, and few what was it about a about a month and a half two months ago YouTube changed how they were doing monetization and up until this point. Up until that point, all of my videos were monetized. And because of how small my channel was, they changed monetization in such a way that in order for me to start monetizing my videos, I need to have, I believe it was, I'm not sure if it was 10,000 or 100,000 channel views. Not subscribers, but channel views. And at that, and when they flipped that switch, Every single one of my videos got demonetized. Now, I'm not... Now, like, as I said before, I took a day off work earlier. So, in terms of income, YouTube is not my income, thankfully. Um, but it is something else I want to do on the side. And YouTube is preventing me from doing that. Especially with the, the extremely low viewer base that I have is just not feasible for me to, to continue solely on YouTube. So I want to start Twitch streaming more often than what I have been. Um, the reason for that is not because, and it's not just because of where YouTube is with their crappy, crappy uh, machine learning bull crap bullshit. But, I like interacting with people. And, as you guys know, since starting Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke a year ago, over a year ago, uh, because I started that in October last year of 2016, I've been putting up a question of the day on literally every video I've done. I put it on Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke, I put it on Pokemon Insurgents, and I'm doing it on Pokemon Snakewood. Because I want to interact with you guys, my viewers, because that's the sole reason why I, wa I wanted to do YouTube, was to show you guys my experiences playing games. And if for some reason I was able to make money off of it, then sure, but it won't be my sole income. It's just something for fun I want to do, I'm not doing it for the money. However, like, however nice it may be, it's not what I want to do. I just want to show you guys my experiences, and that's it. And Twitch has that thing where, like, is solely based on user interaction. And being able to get started on Twitch is so much easier than it is on YouTube, because the YouTube space is constantly changing. Let's Plays was huge 10 years uh, ten years ago, which was when I started YouTubing. And now it's moved on to, um, I believe it's moved on to like viral videos now. And game and like gamers, and like us, us gamers are moving away from it. Like, take a look at Markiplier, for example. 
the last game he done was on Halloween. And even before then, he had, he didn't do a like another gaming video for like two, three weeks. He's moving away from it. He's doing skits now, basically. So like even the top gamer on YouTube is moving away from it. But I don't want to. Gaming is my life. I've been gaming since I was like five, six years old. And I don't want to change that. And I feel like that staying on YouTube with how with how much YouTube is changing, it's preventing me from doing what I want to do. So everything is not gonna be moving away from YouTube. I'm not I'm not leaving YouTube. But I'm thinking what I'm gonna start doing now is stream on stream on Twitch and maybe upload either highlights or even just clip uh, clip live streams 30 like 30 minutes or even like 30 minutes and just upload those to YouTube as like an episode like episodic series on YouTube but have it live on Twitch. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead yet, but that's what I want to do. Now, am I going to move away from Pokemon? No. That's not going to change. I just need to come up with a schedule uh, for when I do start Twitch streaming more regularly than what I have. If I want, like, like there's been one thing that I've been wanting to do, and I'm not going to get into too much details now, but it's basically a collaborative project that me and this other guy uh, have been doing. Now, we've been do only doing it casually. Uh, and what I mean by casual, I mean like, uh, like we're doing like we're doing it what we're supposed to do, but it's not recorded in any way, shape, or form. It's literally just us on a call, doing the thing. But I feel like that that would be perfect for a Twitch stream. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be finishing the one that we're doing now, and at the same time, I'm upload uh, updating my Twitch layout. For it because it's a uh, because it's a DS game and right now everything is just solely just on the on the single screen so I need to change that which I might actually do over the course of the next couple of days hopefully so yeah that's kind of everything so too long don't read Scattered videos I apologize Snakewood is soon be ending and I have my next project figured out Draft League, one massive video with the rest of the Draft League battles and state of YouTube and Twitch. I'm probably going to move. I'm probably going to focus more of my attention on that than YouTube, but I, but I'm not leaving YouTube. There we go, short and sweet. <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking with. Like we're we're in the 23 minutes now, so thank you guys so much for sticking uh, sticking it out with me for this long. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate it. Um. If you guys want to stay up on what on uh, my life, basically, uh, be sure to follow me over on Twitter. And for when I do start streaming regularly on Twitch, be sure to hit that follow button as well. Um, so that then you guys will be notified whenever I go live. And if you guys want to carry on the conversation or whatever, have a good time watching me, you know, absolutely sucking at video games because that's so true you guys have you guys have no idea in my person like in my like personal gaming thing like outside of youtube and twitch you guys have no idea how bad i am at gaming um but it makes for good i think it, i think it'll make for good interactions and viewing so yeah so thanks you guys for so much for sticking out with me and thank you for watching this video however long it may be i said it was going to be about 15 minutes but it's actually almost double that so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before and subscribe or follow me over on twitch as that may be the focus of my gaming now af maybe after snakewood so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time wait i've <laughs> I forgot my outro. See, I'm so out of touch. I'm so out of touch now. I forgot my own in I forgot my own outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Chris the Cast Gamer and I will see you 
in the next video.